Hey there, G3 here with three things that I wish someone had told me before getting into Warhammer 40,000. There's kind of two types of, you know, ways you could come into 40k, which is from more competitive games like Magic, or from more RPG type games, or both, but, um, uh, these are just kind of things that I wish I'd known, and they didn't really cost me too much, too dearly, and I still really love the game and everything, but, um, you know, just some random things. Alright, number one, B, I'm writing upside down again, so, <laughs> patient... Okay, this is hard upside down, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> patient. Um, one of the greatest tools, but also, ironically, uh, in some ways a setback when you start out uh, with Warhammer is YouTube. YouTube's an awesome resource, and I'm not disparaging it in any way. But what I mean is that you see these massive collections and stuff on like mini wargaming and stuff, and you see um, just these beautiful boards and everything, and it's kind of like you want to rush to get to that quality, and, and maybe if you're lucky you have an LGS with like terrain that they have there, but you kind of feel like you know you can't paint that well, and then you don't have a table that big enough, and you don't have the right terrain, and nothing looks good enough. That stuff, um, I just feel like that's too um, much pressure on a new player. Uh, honestly, you could just have a really fun game just on a table, like a small table, and literally using d textbooks and like random stuff um, as like terrain. And while you know it's kind of it's just kind of jokey, but it it's uh, it Warhammer's a cool game, and just playing small games early on like that is no big deal. Using everything. Uh, around you and like saying, hey, maybe that kind of looks like this, and that gets you into the mindset, and you don't have to um, spend a whole drop, for God's sake, don't buy any terrain from War from Games Workshop at when you first start out, like, if you're at the shop and the guy's like, oh, okay, well, you got the starter set, now you should probably get some terrain too. Take your time, it's going to be overwhelming, be patient, just buy... Even if, you know, like, I would recommend Age of Sigmar if you don't want to drop all the money for the star set for 40k with the rules and everything. Um, because you can download those rules free. Um, but if you want to do 40k, Dark Vengeance, awesome way, but also Kill Team. The Kill Team box has a set of the rules and just some models you can start practicing with. It's really cool. So, um, take your time, be patient. Uh, number two, be creative the uh, what Games Workshop sells while it's um, awesome really cool models they're not the end-all be-all um, I wish that I'd kinda known this that it took me uh, it was like after I bought um, oh well, I bought Dark Vengeance which was I don't regret buying that at all but I then bought um, some like chaos stuff from the store you know and that cost like 50 bucks total when I bought, like, uh, I think it was a uh, Rhino and something else. Uh, but there are tons of other managers' companies, and oh, and Spawn, and that was the thing, is because I just, and then I find this company, Reaper, which I should have known before, but Reaper Miniatures, and they're super awesome range, way cheap prices individually. If you, like, if you just want one model, that's the way to go, price wise, right? Um, and they had all these cool things that worked just as well for Chaos Spawn and were unique because they were different. Um, I, uh, I, and then I just, it, practicing painting on Reaper stuff like this here, um, it was great for D&D &D first off. And then it was just, it was kind of like open my eyes like, oh, you can just kind of use anything. So I like finding different models. I mean, so for instance, a, let's say Space Marine. Um, kit comes with lots of extra bits and doodads. I don't see any reason why you couldn't go to Reaper or some other miniatures company that even makes fantasy, you know, minis, and glue bits, like they already have heavy fantasy armor on, just glue, like, guns and other stuff to them. I, 
uh, lots of companies make little space age dudes. Um, I think that, uh, you know, just, you don't have to buy all your stuff from Games Workshop, and I really do like Games Workshop, but, uh, be creative in your models, be creative in your, um, uh, terrain making, be creative in just the process of the whole thing. If, after all, it's a creative hobby. Um, it's not a, unless you're just purely into it for the game, the most enjoyment I, I at least get out of, out of the hobby is from the creative aspect of it. And, um, just the different ideas, writing little stories, backgrounds for your characters, if you want to, if you have a role-playing group, to like do a Warhammer themed role play type thing, or you know, just uh, or RPG kind of session, um, all sorts of stuff. Just be more creative. You don't have to do exactly what is defined by the Warhammer box, and you can use alternate models, and you can scratch build things. And if you, the group that you should start playing with, if you're just a casual player, is people who don't mind using different models and people who don't mind it if you scratch built an orc truck you know instead of buying the official model or whatever or if you you know there's just all sorts of cool stuff like I, what if i wanted to use this dude as a chaos lord base size might not be like exactly right but i just think you know um although this would be i use this for an objective marker i think it's pretty cool um, thirdly, uh, that is to say be, um, I'm not, ironically, I'm not confident as I'm writing this upside down, confident, be confident, um, there is a big, there is a, almost a year gap between when I bought Dark Vengeance and when I actually started playing the game. Uh, I built the models, kind of uh, in like painting and stuff, looked at the rules and just got like totally overwhelmed and I didn't I didn't have friends to like get me into it so I was just me kind of using YouTube and then the rule book. I think that like a lot of people can grasp, like once you grasp one rule, just kind of work around with that Play little small skirmishes against yourself to practice. Um, get friends who are just learning as well and just kind of say, okay, well, we're going to play a game and just make a, up a scenario, you know, where, like, there's a s fog or something that's, like, acid poison, and you can't leave these trenches or something. And so we're not going to worry about the combat phase because we're just practicing or we're just doing shooting or whatever. Because at first that I got shooting phase was I grasped it, but combat phase I was like, oh god, and I put off reading that chapter because I was like, uh, it's so confusing because you know it's just uh, daunting. But when you really get into it and looking back, it's like, oh well, it's actually not that bad. It's just seems like a lot of information, but that's that's why I think that you need to be confident. And hell, if you again going back to like just playing with casual new players, I think. Um, you know, just just uh, go for it and don't worry about if you are going to get rules wrong because you are. And even veteran players get rules wrong. And I get rules wrong all the time. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm a veteran, but uh, it's just, it's one of those, um, one of those things. And you just jump on in because after all, it's a game. This, you're not... Um, I guess the overall consensus of all of these is that while I love Games Workshop, you're not buying, you're not like borrowing from them their models and they're allowing you to play in this game that they make that must be played this way. And they say this very clearly. I'm not trying to make them a bad guy. They say this very clearly in the rules, in the forging the narrative and everything. The most important rule is that it's a game. You're, you're not borrowing these models you are, um, unless you literally are, but I'm saying if you go out and buy them, you, these models are now yours. If you want, you could just paint them and just have them for a collection. If you want, you could paint them, use them for a space age RPG. If you want, you could uh, build them and 
use them and make up your own completely different game, or take some of the Warhammer rules but modify them into your own, or play alternate versions of the rules, like one page 40k that are online and free. There's a bajillion different things, and I don't think anyone should feel bad about wanting to do something different than, okay, well, you go into the store, okay, and you pr be prepared to spend a hundred plus dollars, okay, and you buy an HQ and two troops and your codex, and, and then you play a game and get completely destroyed because, you know, you haven't bought the local, or the, the best whatever list, but you need, it. that's the, you know, it's like you need troops, but if you want to play, like, a combined arms detachment, typically you just get destroyed, depending on what army and everything, but, um, because of formations and stuff. So don't let all of that dissuade you. If you like the models and you like the lore, remember to be confident. Remember that you don't have to paint like they tell you. You don't have to uh, make up lore, or have the same lore they tell you. And also don't worry about meeting uh, the standards of the amount of your collection. Buy a box, even if you don't have the copy of the rules or a codex or anything. Buy a box, build them, just make up your own thing. Or buy the codex and just read it uh, before doing anything. Buy a codex of something that looks interesting. Or um, go down to the shop, make friends with the guys, say... Um, I'm not going to buy anything today, but, like, I just want to see what other people have uh, and how they play and everything, and then maybe even borrow a codex from someone when you meet there at the shop briefly and, and look through it or look through a store copy or something and just kind of, like, get a taste for it, but don't feel like you have to be patient and that you don't have to go all in. Um, anyway, uh, this is just a random thought, and it's kind of late at night, and I just... Well, I wanted to fulfill some of my New Year's resolutions of posting more, so thank you.